Before the break, we learned about the Lighthouse designation, and now we are talking about the programs and that are changing the way that students learn right here in Western Pennsylvania. We are now joined by Dr. Michelle Miller, the Superintendent of Schools for South Fayette Township School District, and Dr. David McDonald, Superintendent of Schools for South Allegheny School District. Thank you both so much for joining us. This is awesome. Now, Dr. McDonald, your district was recognized this fall. How is that impacted South Allegheny because I know this is an incredible honor. It, it is. It's um, it's been a journey. It's not something that you just flip the switch and happens. So, um, you know, a lot of people don't recognize, but it takes a great board of directors uh, that stays out of the way of the school district and allows us to do our job. So that's been huge. But uh, a supportive community um, and, and a great staff that has a vision for what's best for kids. Yeah. Um, and every decision that we make is one that is driven, it's kid oriented. We, we do not allow uh, politics or things to, to get in play where we're making decisions every day. We're trying to impact kids and, and their future. So can you talk about some of the programs that you have put in place there? Sure, so we have an aviation academy. Uh, we have four simulators okay. in our building. We have uh, a four year program. Uh, where kids um, can actually earn ground hours and, and, and fly in our simulators. We have a cybersecurity program, um, which was through RK Mellon Aviation, was through a, a moonshot grant at the Grable Foundation. There's a lot of people that come together in Western Pennsylvania that make uh, things available for us. There's haves and have not districts in PA. 70% of our kids are economically disadvantaged. Um, and 60% of our kids go right into the workforce. So we had to rethink what was best for our kids yeah. at South Allegheny to prepare them for what's next. Yeah. Absolutely. And I remember whenever I, I was in high school, um, those kids went to a technical school. Right. And they were bused, and then they would have to come back. And it's amazing, and I feel like how different it, the whole schooling experience would have been for them if they could have had it all in-house. Uh, this is incredible. Uh, Dr. Miller, similar question. How has it impacted South Fayette? So I think everything that we do, we focus on being future focused, student centered and innovation driven. And I think that really encapsulates what our entire region is like and making, having those partnerships with, with colleagues and school districts um, all over our region nationally, the doors have opened for us. But we have been three decades uh, at South Fayette of being innovative and really pushing yeah. that envelope to be leaders among leaders and always giving back to those around us, those school districts around us to help them come along as well and provide opportunities to share what our teachers, our amazing teachers are doing in classrooms. It's so interesting because Ryan, you mentioned kind of this partnership and collaborative effort between school districts. It's not a competition. We all want our kids to succeed. It doesn't matter where you live in Western PA. We want them to be their best. And so hearing you talk about the flight simulators, South Fayette has some sort of sim a similar program with drones, is that right? So we have Fly Like a Girl Drone Academy. We right. call it FLAG. Um, roughly 8% of drone operators nationwide are females. And so we have a drone academy so students um, can, can learn um, about drones and then gain their license. We have many students in our region because we've opened it up to the region school districts. It was through a moonshot grant through the Grable Foundation, but we have multiple students getting their license and, and leaving high school with that opportunity, Fantastic. whether it is for um, career or to, to kind of propel them into their college. How fun! How fun! And that's kind of the I want to go back it, to school. Right? <laughs> I'm gassed up about these initiatives. Yeah. I mean, it's so because you really do. You have to follow their interests. You have to follow and to get your hands on this kind of equipment and these skills so young. Just take it from us. You, these skills, are, I mean, they're priceless. Have you heard any kind of feedback from the students? Because I can only imagine they're just as excited. Yeah. So, so I would say um, student engagement is at high levels when we're focused on being student centered yeah. and we're finding programs where they have voice and choice and that it's something that's interesting that they see is going to help them with their future. Um, that's what it's all about and that's what drives I think uh, Dave, myself and our districts to continue you, to do and you serve. Brought, you brought it up. We're unique in Western Pennsylvania with the support that we have through Grable but as leaders um, we really get along well, so we share, we bounce ideas off, and I think we're all trying to make schools that we want kids running into and not running out of. Right, uh, and Ryan, you mentioned a lot through the Grable Foundation and helping these schools get additional grants so it can be more collaborative, so it can be more expansive and fun. Sure, and it's actually just next month, the leaders of this cohort, the Western Pennsylvania Alliance, including David and Michelle, are gonna come together to think about 
Well, first to celebrate this incredible journey yes. that they've been on and all these amazing awards and what this work means for students, but also to think about how is this work going to continue moving forward? Mm -hmm. Because we know it's too important, too impactful, too beneficial to stop now. Amen. Thank you for what you're doing. Yes, really, absolutely. honestly. This is so fun. We'll have links to <laughs> everything you need to know about what you learn from the Lighthouse des designation and what Western Pennsylvania schools are doing to innovate and grow. Head to our website and we'll have more information there.